Hello everyone, this is Anastasia Haldridge, Coach Ace here, and today I'm going to share with you a very special training just for you guys because I feel for a lot of you who are struggling with blogging right now, and a lot of you haven't even started blogging because you want your blog to be, you know, perfect or your article post to be perfect, and that's not the case here. So I want you to just relax, you know, forget about all the philosophy and forget about all that blogging one-on-one stuff about how blogging started or the history of blogging or why you should be blogging. We're going to get into the meat and potatoes about blogging. So right now we're just going to roll up our sleeves like we do, and we're going to get to work right now where you can start within your first day up to your 30th day with this blogging challenge okay and there are different types of blog posts that I like to go over with you so these types of blog posts are known as written content okay this is what we call written content and here's some ideas that I can give you from my personal experience as a professional blogger I can give you my experience of different ideas that get you started the first one is you can blog about an experience now an experience of you know as far as like a positive experience and related to your niche market you could talk about you know something that you're you have an expertise in or a professional background in you could write about that how about an important issue in your niche market you know something that is of concern you know something that's related to your niche market in the industry that you want to just elaborate on and just put a nice little blog post together about you could write about that a community that you just joined or you're learning in from you know that that type of thing like a Facebook group or a Google Plus group you could write about that how about your journey you know being new to blogging it can be struggling you know the best part about blogging is you could write about what you're blogging about you know how you're how you're dealing with the the aftermath of blogging for during the 30 days pretty much and just share with people your experience you know that's the stuff that pretty much sells it's your story you could blog about product reviews this is one of my personal favorites you could blog about those products like think about it you know how many times you get bombarded in your email with you know uh, buy this SEO tool or the next latest and greatest you know software you if you already tried it and you liked it you can blog about that and just do a product review you know um, or if you didn't like it you know dislikes are also just as good so you could write about reviews like that for a blog post how about company reviews these are great these are one of my personal favorites company reviews are awesome blog posts okay um, current events related to your niche here's another one that's really awesome if something is like a hot topic you know and you want to write about it as long as it's related to your niche or your niche is actually following it uh, like what I usually do is I watch the Facebook news feeds and I can actually get ideas from seeing what is actually hot in the market right now what people are talking about um, just like the the most recent blog post I did that was um, uh, a hot related niche was the um, when the Boston uh, Red Sox won the World Series, I wrote about that because everybody was on top of that, you know, or the Super Bowl, you know, I wrote about that too. So because pretty much entrepreneurs do like to watch sports, <laughs> so I can't follow the game. But you know what? You get what I say. You get what I mean. How about a workshop? You know, maybe you attended some kind of like a blogging workshop such as this right here or a, uh, a workshop, you know, learning how to be a public speaker or a writer, you know, or, um, you know, maybe something related to your company that you had to do a workshop for, you know, sales workshop or whatever have you. You could write about that. And another thing you could do is like a local or regional event. Maybe you could write about, you know, an event that you attended like your national conference you could write about you know a local meetup that you did locally and just talk about that these are just different ideas guys that you can actually take from me that you could write about just to get you started in case you have nothing to go on so don't make any excuses these a lot of great ideas here now here are some other types of content to blog about and I want you to keep in mind this very important tip no matter what you write about you have to have the utmost passion for it before writing or else your content will give you a way that you are faking it and you're not keeping it real period if you're new to writing then go and study your mentors or top bloggers content and get inspired to generate your own ideas for your content by modeling after their success you know Jim Rome always said it best success leaves clues so here's a basic blog post outline this is my format and I highly recommend you follow it because you know why fix what is what isn't broken right you are gonna duplicate what works so I'm gonna share with you my format okay when you write you wanna have the following um, the first thing you wanna have is the title okay very important you wanna have a title for your blog post 
The second thing is you want to have a featured image or photo. Now you can do this several ways. You could create your own images or you could download them from Google, but make sure that when you download them from Google, they're not copywritten. Uh, third, what is the post about? You know, create like a two to three sentence description. You know, today's blog post, I am going to write about that, that, that. You know, you could just fill in the blanks. Number four, a sub headline title. This is critical. You gotta, when you're writing your blog post, you wanna make sure that you put a sub headline title. So if you're sharing like additional comments or additional paragraphs with some tidbits or strategies or tips, you wanna be able to make sure you identify that in the blog itself, okay? And that it has this whole little story on its own. The fifth thing is a signature. This is so key. After you're done writing your blog content, you wanna end it right. So the way to end it right is you want to insert your signature, okay, and you can actually put a photograph of you or just you and your spouse or you and your partner, however you want to do it. Um, but that's a great way to make your blog post very personable with your readers, okay. And then last but not least, a call to action. Very, very crucial. You want to have a call to action. People like to be told what to do, okay? So you need to make sure you're telling your readers, hey, click here, subscribe here, or check this out, leave a comment. I mean, there's so many called different types of calls to action. Again, look at your mentors, look at other people's blog posts, or even study ours. Now, here are my blog writing guidelines, okay? These are really important. So grab a pen, take some notes, because, you know, this is really, really key. Number one, you want to keep your post word count about 300 to 1,000 words. Longer content gets better search rankings with great SEO. Number two, use neat paragraphs and images to break up your text. Not all bloggers are the same, so find somebody um, that you admire and study and model after them, even if it's us. Number three, have your own style and add your personality and humor. But watch the profanity meter and keep it at its lowest grade. You know, you can be funny and you can be cool, you know, but be professional, but not a jackass, okay? Number four, always proofread everything before clicking publish. I can tell you one situation where I've written like five blog posts for the week and, you know, I actually forgot to, to um, proofread you know several sentences and then all of a sudden within the blog post itself one of my readers commented and said hey get back with your webmaster because we found several uh, misspellings in your post so that doesn't look good okay so make sure that you proofread edit and then publish number five create a variety by wrapping content around your YouTube videos this guys is a golden nugget make sure that if you're not that good at writing there's another way to round that and what you can do and i learned this from my my mentor rich guzman is you can actually take a video from youtube that you did or you could grab some content that's getting traffic on youtube and just wrap some words around it you know write a couple paragraphs on the top and at the bottom and then throw your signature it'll call to action boom 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 you're done and that's it okay that'll help you out a lot now let's talk about types and styles of blog posts because there's so many types of blog posts out there. It's a slew of them, but I'm going to talk about the most critical ones that we write about here. Um, me and Rich do. Okay. Um, instructional. Instructional posts basically tell people how to do something and you can write about that. I find that my tips and secrets types of posts are generally the ones that do get a lot of attention. Informational. This is one of the more common blog post types where you simply give information on a topic and it could be a definition post or a longer explanation of some aspect of the niche that you're writing on. Makeup, anti-aging, diet and losing weight, etc. Those types of blog posts are great. So if you know how to do something and you're good at it, then why don't you write about and explain it in your own words. Reviews. Ah. Uh, these, this one is the best, okay? Reviews is another highly searched for term on the web. And you can go by it like the root word review or the plural word reviews. So as I said, this is one of my favorite blog posts. And I know every time when I'm considering to buy something or I'm going to purchase something, I usually just go to Google and I'll search for it in the search engines and I'll take a look at other customers' reviews and see, you know, if it's got five stars, four stars, if it's like one of the best products that you can use, you know, like for example, I wanted to buy, um, 
the the NutriBullet, and I compared it with other customer reviews on Amazon, you know, for the the Vitamix and the NutriBullet, and I quite found out that the Ninja Blender was actually one of the best. So there you got it, you know. That's the thing. You got to step out and think like a customer. Who is searching for what you got? And you know, would I buy that from Google? I don't know. That's why you got to write these types of reviews, okay? Lists. One of the easiest ways to write a post is to make a list. Posts with content like the top six ways to, seven reasons why you, um, five secrets you didn't know, 27 mistakes that bloggers make when. You know, you fill in the blanks and create those headlines, you know. Um, they're not only easy to write about, but are usually very popular with readers and with getting backlinks from the other bloggers. So think about that. Interviews. Okay. Sometimes when you've run out of ideas or, you know, anything insightful things to write about, it might be a good idea to let someone else do the talking in an interview or what we call a guest post. This is a great way to not only give your readers a relevant expert's opinion, but to perhaps even learn something about the topic you're writing about yourself. I love doing interviews or posting other leaders' interviews on my blog to drive quality traffic. That's a golden nugget. Rants. This is one of my, my funniest ones here, okay? Ranting. Everybody rants on Facebook and Twitter. And why not create a blog post out of that rant? Get passionate. Stir your surf up. You know, say what's on your mind and tell it like it is, you know, by keeping it real. Rants are great for starting discussions and causing a little controversy. They can also be quite fun if you do it in the right spirit. Just be aware that they can also be the beginnings of a flaming comment thread. And often it's in the heat of the moment when we talk about things that we later regret. And that can impact our reputation the most. So just be careful with your thoughts to keyboard as I always say. And that's pretty much it. I want to thank you guys. I appreciate you so much. You know, if you need to contact me or Rich, you know, feel free to do so. Connect with us here on Facebook at Ace and Rich. And uh, we also have a, a great fan page with a lot of this stuff on there. And our fan page is um, Ace and Rich Six Figure Mastery. You'll love it. We've got great stuff there. In fact, to help you out, we actually started a theme on Thursdays known as Blog Party. It's called Blog Party because what we're doing is helping others, you know, get their content syndicated and helping them get backlinks with comments. And you know what? This is just a fun way of doing internet working, guys. Wait till you see it. You're going to love it. So just head on over to our fan page at Ace of Rich Six Figure Mastery. Hit like. Give us a quick like and just take a look at our content. You won't be disappointed. Other than that, I want to wish you all the best with your blogging and, you know, your blogging success. You know, get started today if you haven't started. And if you've already started, now you got a new map to follow that will get your blog post up and running in the right direction. See you guys on the next video. Take care.